She's a very famous face. She's Jane McDonald and she's celebrating the cruise's 10-year anniversary. Oh, that'll make you feel old. And she's starring in Return to Cruise, a revisit to the show that gave her such success. Let's have a look. Don't know whether it's morning or night. I get what Jack is saying now. Only know it's sounding right. So come on in. She did exactly what I wanted her to do. Whether I helped her get there or not, it wasn't the point. The point was she did it. She got to that point where she grabbed the audience with her voice, with her body. You know, little things that she just did and implemented into her, her concert. And Jane's here now. Now, what do you think when you look back at that? Stop, take it away. No. I, you see, I don't think so. I think we everybody loved you on that because there was such raw talent there. You just jumped out of the screen. And I think you haven't changed it. You know, I mean, you might feel that you're Oh, singing. please tell me I've changed. Yeah, I know you feel you're that, you know, you're just a shine retiring as ever. Now. <laughs> but you're still, that, that kind of lovability is still there. Well, that's it? very nice of you, thanks. I, I, do, I had no idea what was going to happen with that the cruise mm. so I think that's why we just relaxed into it and it was just one guy it was Chris Terrell and one guy with a camera and a sound guy and that was it so it wasn't like proper telly so did you have any sense of, of what it would do for you and to your life not uh, not an inkling none of us did and I was living in the States at the time anyway with me fella at the time Henry and um, so I had no idea what was going to happen and then we just got this call saying we think you better come back because it's gone a bit mad and I said wow. what has I'd forgotten we'd even done it. Yeah. And then we got back and it had just exploded. We had so many viewers. So that's nice that we're revisiting it because so many people are watching it again. I can't believe the amount of people that have tuned in again to watch it. And it seemed to me not just to obviously change your life dramatically, but also change the kind of sort of programs that we saw on TV because it, it seemed before that things were about issues and mm. documentaries were about sort of um, one-off huge, one-off unusual people. This was about sort of ordinary people doing yeah. something. I mean, you have an extraordinary talent but an ordinary people doing their thing yeah. and I, I think we see that so much now we've forgotten that we didn't used to ever, didn't used to be there well I think that's what the public sort of latched onto is that I was actually one of them still am mm. um, because you're a that, bit richer. Than uh, most Jane, well, a little to bit. Be honest. I would say in spirit, darling. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, <laughs> they don't tell you that. You know, it's not that good of pay, is it? But um, <laughs> that's another story for another day and a whole new documentary. I might add. <laughs> but it's it's great when you know when the public take you to their hearts, and yeah. and that's the reason why I'm still here, ten years on. It it is the fans and it is the public, and I'm so grateful to them. We saw you get married on the original <laughs> series. Yeah, yeah. You wouldn't even say his name out loud now, so I'm assuming things. It doesn't go that well. Uh, you now got divorced. I mean, what, did, have, has it been a curse of the cruise at all? Has it brought you any ill? Did it, that sudden exposure to a new life, was that difficult? Or? Nobody can prepare you for something mm. that big. And it wasn't just the cruise. It, that was the, the springboard for me. So, I, you know, I had the hit TV show on prime time. I had the platinum albums all coming out at the same time. I just wasn't ready. And, and I just didn't feel as if I belonged there. Did it's taken me a long time. above yourself? Is that why you broke up? Yeah, well, yeah, you know, I did get a bit diva-esque. Mm. So is there a sadness to looking back at a sort of a lost innocence, if you will, because it's ten years exactly? Exactly ten years. Um, yes, there is. Very naive, very green. I wanted to take her to one side and go, come here, this is what's going to happen. If somebody had told me what was going to happen, I'd have said, I'll get my coat. Really? Be, oh, yeah. But I'm glad Why? I've been through that. I'm glad I've been through all the ups and downs yeah. of the industry as we know it. Because now I've come out, and it's, it's actually showbiz. We should be enjoying it. Mm. And we forget that. We all You're get right. a little bit too serious about it. Well, the interesting thing was is that ten years ago, the, the, variety, the idea of variety on a Saturday night was laughable. It was. Now it's a massive hit. Britain's got talent, all sorts of talent shows that have that variety. You're fashionable. I'm trendy. For, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've seen that with the, it, the, you know, the new album. That's why I brought that out, really. This, this is it album. out today, tomorrow? Yesterday. Yesterday. Came out yesterday. 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 And okay. that is uh, that is my thanks to the fans. You yeah. know, bit away. Camp is this track. <laughs> but, um, you know, it is my thanks. This is the big Sheffield finishes again. It's 
you know, that what everybody knows me for, the big talk songs. And, yeah. You know, so it's, that is trendy now. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And we love it. And we love it because it's glamour. And it's, Didn't realise yeah. it had gone out. Oh, it had loved it. I brought it all back. Oh, but how <laughs> wonderful to be able to be glamorous again now and oh, to I allow know. it all to happen. It's the right way for you to be, isn't it? It's, it's your I've natural I've never state. changed. I've always no. stayed true to what I believed I, uh, that's what I was all about. Oh, and sure. big frocks, big shows. Big opinions. Big op Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Love that you on show. these women. Oh, I mean, stop that's right great. there. It's I'll great. take it away with that. Well, I, love that. <laughs> I, love <laughs> I love that show. I love it. It's great Briefly, fun. where would you like to be in 10 years' time? Oh, How about that for an interview? As long as I'm where <laughs> I am right now, I'll be so, so happy. But, you know, you just never know what's going to happen. Every day is a bonus, and I'm so grateful that I had the crews to, to help me be where I am. So grateful. Mm. OK. All right. Maybe in 10 years' time you'll be taking a cruise. No. Yeah, you never know. You never know. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. No. All right. Good to speak to you this morning. Good luck with the album and the nice tour and all of that coming Thank up. I'm sure it's going to be very successful. I wonder if you've actually had a number one album 10 years after oh, the original. I think it's fantastic. Is he on Loose Women later on? Mm. Yeah. Well, it's off for three weeks. But okay. Break. That's Take a little all. rest in August. That's okay. the right thing to and do. And it's working out more things to get furious about when they come back. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Regenerate some anger.